This is the story of rivalries, bonds, and boxing. Through massive training arcs, I would work my way up the Boxing League ranks with the one goal of becoming the Boxing League champion of the world. But all great adventures start somewhere. So I found a cool Roblox game I could play with my friends, and since I had nothing else to do, I decided to stream it while I tried it out. And I had just finished watching Megalobox for the third time through, so I was in a boxing mood. At the beginning of the stream, I showed off my character stats and showed chat a little bit how the game worked. My arms are, yeah, no, you will realize my arms go past my knees. Then I started to actually show them how the boxing mechanics work. I showed Stream how to do a couple punches, move around the ring, and I played a lot of matches. And a lot of those matches were actually against people three times higher level than I was. I pretty much had a great underdog story from the start. Taking down people left and right, it was fight after fight, dub after dub, and I knew there was some potential, but I was still a rookie, I still had a lot to learn. Cause then... Voiceless joined from the stream. Voiceless is an active member in the Discord and he often shows up to streams. He decided he wanted to put my skills to the test. This fight would unknowingly be the first of many battles against Voiceless and the start of a great boxing tournament. Punches were flying left and right. I landed a couple, Voiceless landed a couple, but it was clear that I was gonna be the one walking out of this ring alive. I landed the final blow and I had won the fight. The final fight of the stream. This would solidify the rivalry between me and Voiceless. When Voiceless's training art completes, he's gonna be the greatest boxer among any of us. And it would also be the catalyst that would allow two more fighters to join the fray. But that was for next time. I figured I should close down the stream. Yeah, thanks for watching. I had fun. And keep boxing, because why not? But the one thing I didn't close down? Boxing League. As soon as the stream ended, the real grind started. The first step to my training arc was figuring out my fighting style. Boxing League has four different stats and four different styles you can have based on your highest stat. These would be Fighter, Guardian, Runner, and Tactical. Now a normal boxer in this game would do a little bit of grinding and then buy some high-end gloves that give them the stat boost they need to compete and have one of those titles. However, as we all know, it's not the gloves that make the boxer. That's why my glove choice is the Grill Glove. You cannot buy them from the store, which makes them fairly rare, and they only provide a 1% boost to your stats, so I don't gain any advantage with them. However, although I had found my gloves, I still needed some way to boost my stats in order to compete and get a cool title. The solution? Run. I knew that I would never be able to match my opponent's superior damage, speed, or health due to my glove choice. So my only option was to outlast them in the ring. This is where the so-called weakest stat in the game would come in, Dexterity. Dexterity controls your stamina in the game, which lets you block, jab, and use any moves. So 75 hours later, I had gotten my Dexterity to level 25, and I was ready for the tournament. However, I had an old friend that wanted to join in, and he needed a bit of training. Josiah, aka Zios was already a great fighter and he had gotten several victories on his own. However, if he wanted to compete in the tournament, he was gonna need some pro training from me. At first, I taught him the basic strats of my style, like wearing down your opponent and finding openings. But he was learning quickly. Before I knew it, he had already adapted his movements into a different fighting style altogether. Outboxing. This technique would allow him to move around the ring and wear down any opponent. Although he still had a lot to learn, he was ready for the tournament as well. It was time to see if all our training had paid off. It was the day of the tournament. 
We had all been training for the last couple days, especially me and Josiah, and we were ready to throw down. Everybody had their devices ready, despite how questionable they were. Bro, what are you running this on, hey. Windows XP? No, Amazon Fire. <laughs> Everyone arrived, and we had started to make the tournament bracket. A Frost versus Zios. The second fight will be between Voiceless and Octane. And then the third fight will be Egg Sauce versus Milkman. However, due to the fact that Egg Sauce had to go to bed soon, his fight versus Milkman would have to be first. At the beginning of the fight, Milkman was scared for his life and did not think he was ever going to beat Egg Sauce. It's a 50 difference. Egg Sauce versus Milkman. And Egg Sauce is down with the first point. Milkman is in the lead. Oh, dude. Oh, the double uppercut. Egg Sauce ties it up. Okay, but okay, he, he okay. brings it back real quick. Milkman and Egg Sauce. The score is two to one in favor of Milkman. What? We're taking bets. Oh, oh, Egg Sauce is down. Three to one. Oh, the Milkman wins. Despite Milkman's greatest fears, he was able to overcome Egg Sauce and defeat him in the ring. I will beat up this random bystander. Then, in a sudden turn of events, Frost decided that he was going to fight a random bystander. It was a very anticlimactic fight because the bystander ended up leaving is halfway this, through the match. Is Frost? Oh. Yeah, that's just cruel. Oh, he's gone. But then Frost reported to us that he also had to leave. With two members of the tournament already gone, we decided to remake the bracket again. Okay, I'm no, liking this no. new bracket. The new matchups would be between Octane and Milkman and Zios versus Voiceless. And whoever won between Octane or Milkman would go on to face me in the semifinals. However, due to Octane's Amazon fire overheating, the next match would be between Voiceless and Josiah. It was time to see if my pupil would put his training to good use. Josiah is oh. moving all around the room, dodges the kick. Voiceless, radiating energy Ooh. like a Super Saiyan, gets a kick in. Josiah with a big uppercut to Voiceless. Voiceless in the corner, on the ropes. Hopelessly trying to escape Josiah with another big uppercut. Ooh, 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 come this on. This is on. a massacre. Josiah had already taken Voiceless out within seconds of the first round. It was here I realized that my pupil may have become too strong. His outboxing technique was too advanced. Josiah would continue to knock Voiceless out two more times without going down a single time himself. That's how you end it, baby. Octane, in all of my years of boxing, I was not sure we would see a 3-0 match in this tournament. Let me tell you, I knew in, it was going to happen. In my five-minute career, I've never seen this happen before. I, <laughs> in your five minutes here, yeah. Even during the live stream, I couldn't figure out who was the better fighter and therefore would be facing me. They're both really good fighters here. They have great records. Not really. They're both semi-new. They don't have as much training as the rest of us. Honestly, I don't see either of these fighters going very far in the tournament. But in terms of this fight alone, it's going to be real close. Octane goes down. Octane gets knocked again. Octane starts to bring it back with a knockout on Milkman. But then Milkman gets serious and finishes it. Oh, he hit him with the my turn now. And it's oh. over with an uppercut. This would solidify Milkman's position in the bracket against me. It was now time for me to finally have my first battle in the tournament. Also, Octane had become our announcer now. In the right corner, we have the one and only the Prison Master. Ooh, ooh. In the left corner, we have the Milkman we picked up <laughs> off the street. <laughs> you gonna like ding us in? Ding, ding, ding. All right, let's go. Surpass your limits right now. Right Surpass here. my limits. I have to go plus ultra. <laughs> you know us, baby. What you got? Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, let's see who wins this one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he doesn't even know the QT. Looks like I'm exhausted. You think I'd be going down, Milkman? You think I'd be going down? I took a lot of hits there. Exhausted. Oh, man, so Ooh. Like a, like a you fool! Oh, my God. oh, oh Jesus! Ooh. You went to bed. Ah. Not, I'm, you, you, you haven't gotten down yet, right? I have not gotten down yet. It was He's into the third the round, and Milkman now. was about to knock me out. I was on the ropes, and I only had two health left. So as a last ditch effort, oh! I threw a giant haymaker Let's at him, go! and it landed. 
Oh my god. I just destroyed him. You clutched that so hard. I did. This would bring us to the final battle. The final match of the tournament between myself and my pupil, Josiah. The student would have to face the master and see if he could surpass him. A battle between master and student for the final match and to be announced champion. I let Josiah choose the music for this final fight. And of course we had to let Octane count us in, since he's our announcer. In the right corner, we have Josiah! Yeah! I am not good at that. In the left corner, we have the one, the only, <laughs> Virgin Master! I got a hype, man! Hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, yo, we hey. can't, yo, we can't be Goku though. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be Goku. You can't be Goku though. Goku let's do it. Here. Let's do it. You see, I trained you myself. I know all of your moves. No, 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 you didn't. Oh, no, no, maybe no. I do. Maybe I do. What you got? 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 That's exactly what I want you to think. No! Oh, oh my man. gosh. This, this is, is the tough. closest. This is close. This is close. Ah, I tried it. I tried it. I tried it. Oh yeah, let's do the flurry. Let's do the flurry, Josiah. You wanna you wanna test punching speeds? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, he's tripping me up. Oh, 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 he really flaked he faked he faked me out, he faked me out. Oh the dodge. He can't be Goku though! Oh, oh. The, the candy man special. <laughs> I got no, nothing on this. No, I ain't exhausted. I don't talk about. Yeah, you sus, but you sus. Yeah. You sus. They're throwing their anime stings. Where are the punches? Holy Jesus! <laughs> Octane's going Where's crazy. I've never seen that. Nice. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that oh one. God. Josiah, you made one little mistake. You d underestimated my power. Come on, let's finish this, Josiah. One last flurry. The oh next hit is gonna god. end it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It can be Goku though! Yeah! Oh, dude, I really wanna finish it with that. Oh. Dude, my heart is actually like. Super <laughs> I'm so hyped. Bad. What's gonna happen? What are you gonna throw next? Rock, paper, or scissors? As we danced around the ring one last time, I thought of my journey. I had taken to get here. And I had also thought about how far my pupil had come. I realized my student had surpassed me and that the fight was already over. But that was not gonna stop me from screaming he can't beat Goku and throwing out one last haymaker. He can't beat Goku though! No. Oh! Oh, he got me though! No. He got me! <laughs> hey, 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 oh hey, my hey, goodness! Hey, Aaron Yeager! Josiah had won the tournament. He was now the boxing champion of the world. Until the next week when we had another tournament and I got first place because he never even showed up. And then I kept playing the game even though everyone stopped playing. And now I have over 6,000 hours in the game and I'm even in the next boxing area. And now everyone's even harder but I'm actually really good at the game. And so now no one can actually hold up to me. And now you can't be Goku.